Hello, my name is Luciano Ferrari and on this video I will demonstrate how to hack smart bulbs. Alright. Okay, before we start putting our hands dirty on hacking smart bulbs, we need to understand a widely used protocol called BLE, Bluetooth Low Energy. And there are many wireless protocols out there, but what makes BLE so popular is because it's easy to implement. BLE is used on many applications on healthcare, fitness, uh, security, home entertainment, and so on. Other advantage of BLE is its reduced power consumption and cost. It's a lightweight subset of the classic Bluetooth. Now let's understand the main concepts you should know about BLE. Okay, the first concept is GAP. GAP is an acronym for the Generic Access Profile and it controls connections and advertising in Bluetooth. GAP is what makes your device visible to the outside world and determines how two devices can or can interact with each other. Another important concept is GET, that is an acronym for the generic, generic Attribute Profile and it defines the way that two BLE devices transfer data back and forth using concepts called services and characteristics. It makes use of a generic uh, data protocol called the Attribute Protocol, ATG, which is used to store services, characteristics and related data in a simple lookup table using 16-bit IEDs for each entry in the table. And a BLE peripheral can only be connected to one central device, like a mobile phone, at a time. As soon as a peripheral connects to a central device, it will stop advertising itself and other devices will no longer be able to see it or connect to it until the existing connection is broken. The GAT transactions in BLE are based on high-level nested objects called profiles, services, and characteristics, uh, which can be seen on this picture here. All right, now we will open my uh, Linux virtual machine, and the first process an attacker would be uh, doing to identify our device, and this is done by obtaining information such as the MAC address, the Bluetooth version, and the RSSI, and more. And for most cases, the BD address, the Bluetooth address, is enough to exploit the device. And this can be found using the HCI tool command. First, let's see if it's working properly. So do um, HCI config. It's running properly. Now I'll do sudo HCI tool list scan. Perfect. I'll stop here. And you see that all the BLE devices around us are listed here because it's a scanning. And our target device is this LED BLE, so we can now copy its Bluetooth address. So I do like this and copy. Perfect. All right. Now that you have the Bluetooth address, you need to be able to sniff the traffic and see the value of the handle being written when you, for example, turn on the or turn off the bulb from the mobile app or change its color and you'll be able to see it all in clear text. And I had already captured the BLE traffic to keep this video short and you can see the handle code and value from the picture here. Okay, it's right here. Very good. Now, uh, we will use a tool called a get tool to interact with the BLE and exploit it. Let's see how it works. Okay, so I'll do a get I'll clear for you to be able to see it better. I get to minus i minus b and the address that we just copied. Perfect. Now we use uh, the uh, connect command to connect to the target device and look uh, the available characteristics. So I'll do connect. Oops. So connect. Perfect. Let me see the characteristics now. Okay, I see here, uh, if I explain here for you, um, it's better now, right? So I can see the handle and what are the properties and etc. Now, um, we are ready to exploit the smart bulb and write the handle with a new color using char right rec 
zero, zero B. So all of these I got from the, the traffic, uh, the sniffer. I'll put the new color will be five six. That's the code for a new color. Zero zero seven four DC zero zero whoops zero zero F zero AA and bingo! <laughs> My smart bulb just changed its color here. And you can now use this same concept to exploit any RDB device and do even more. Thanks for watching.